In this session, we're going to walk through the process of converting an existing sales quote into a sales order. From my home page, I have visibility to outstanding documents by type through the use of my Windows tiles. Uh, in this case, I can see I have one outstanding quote, three orders, seven invoices, and, and also some KPIs or metrics regarding sales or so forth. In this case, I want to convert my quote into an order. So I'm going to click on the tile. That'll immediately open up a list of all of my existing quotes. In this case, I have a couple options. If I, am, if I know I want to convert this quote into an order, directly from the list, I can simply hit the Make Order button. This will convert this sales quote into a sales order, um, and then it will assign a new sales order number, but also retain the original quote number. But perhaps I need to confirm the items and quantities and prices on the quote before I uh, convert it into an order. So I'm going to click on um, my Assist button here and select Edit. This will open up the Sales Quote Details page. Uh, here I can review the items, the quantities, the prices. If I need to revise a price, for example, let's say this is now $195, I can revise the quote as needed. And then once I'm sure I'm ready to convert the quote, I'll click on the Make Order button from this page. It's the same function that runs from the list. In this case, it's just uh, placed on the sales quote document itself. Uh, I do get a message asking me to confirm that I do want to convert that quote to an order. In this case, it's Q0, QU01010, so I'm going to say yes. At this point, based on my settings, um, I may get an inventory availability message displayed or a credit limit or past due balance warning message displayed.